In this presentation, we are going to look at conditional connectives. Now, the first thing we are going to look at is, the, well, the only thing we're going to look at in this presentation is implication. So we have two propositions, P and Q, and we have this arrow that goes from left to right. So P implies Q. So we verbalize it as P implies Q, or if P, then Q. Now, just a quick remark, uh, P is called the antecedent and Q is often called the consequent. Okay, so let's just say, this is sort of a little example I have here. So P, a place is in Europe, some particular place I'm going to mention, and Q, the place is a city. So we might verbalize the statement that P implies Q as, if the place is in Europe, then it is a city. Now this here is what we're going to call a compound statement here, this last one here. I'm going to write that in, compound statement. Good. Now, so I'm going to refer to this compound statement here now in a second. So if an example contradicts the compound statement, then the statement is false. And we're going to put a little zero in the truth table. Otherwise, if it does not contradict the uh, um, compound statement, then the statement is true for that example. This is a little bit weird about this uh, constructing truth tables for this particular example. So what I have here are some examples, and this is sort of gives a better idea of what the, the conditional connective and the truth table for the conditional connective is about. We're looking at these examples here, and we're looking to sort of see what um, what sort of example makes the uh, compound statement false. So first off, we have Arizona, and Arizona is not in Europe, and it's not a city. So in this particular instance, it does not actually contradict our uh, compound statement. So our compound statement is still th true for this example, for this particular example. So we're going to put a one in there, okay? Now, the next one is the Beijing. Beijing is in China. It's, it's in Asia. But it is a city, but it's not in Europe. Now, again, this does not contradict our compound statement. It is could be true. Uh, essentially, our compound statement could still be true when looking at this example. So we're going to put a one in there. This is the the important one here, the Czech Republic. The Czech Republic is a country in Europe, but it is not a city. So for this particular example, the... Uh, the compound statement is false. So this is the example that sort of makes the compound statement false. So it's, it's actually the zeros you're looking for, really, in the in these truth tables. Finally, we have Dublin. Dublin is in Ireland, and it's a city. And so for this example, our, if the place is in Europe, then it is a city. Well, a, Dublin is true. That, that tr uh, statement is true if you're talking about Dublin. So for that, we would have a 1. So in short, here is the truth table for the uh, implies, if P then Q, or P uh, implies Q, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, so that's the truth table for that. Anyway, that's enough of that. This ends our presentation. Thank you.